Hi, Catherine. Hi, how are you? Hi. How are you? Is this Kara? Yeah. Karen, Kevin. Hi. Hello, how are you? Welcome, Chef Kevin and Kara Belke. I, I appreciate you visiting with Living the Gourmet. How are you both? Doing We're doing great. very well, thank you. Oh, wonderful, wonderful. Um, I, I am very pleased to have you, and you're going to help us, uh, my audience, how to make Christmas as pleasant as possible under all these circumstances. And I know most of us, We'll be having a much smaller Christmas. I know myself I will be. And how we can still have the fun of the season and enjoy it with a smaller group. So would you like to help my audience figure out how to do that? Absolutely. Yeah, well, we know through research we've seen, and we all know this, that consumers are cooking at home more than ever. And this is a pretty big shift for, for people, where 50% of people are cooking more from scratch. So today, we thought it'd be really great if we shared some tips and inspiration of how you can put pork as a centerpiece to your holiday meals, as well as think through what kind of sides you can pair along with it to make it really memorable and super tasty. Oh, and you know, I think out of everything comes good something good comes right. and I think the fact that people are getting more into cooking and cooking from scratch is a good thing and it helps with you know health and 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 family bringing family together so I think that's a wonderful thing that did come out of this so what what um what are you cooking today yeah, so, well, as you said, like, there are a lot of great things that come from this. And it's, uh, you know, another great thing is that ability to experiment, to try something new. So today, for example, I wanted to make a meal that was inspired by a place that I would like to travel to very soon. I love the city of Vienna, Austria. It's one of my absolute favorites, especially this time of year. But unfortunately, I can't travel right now. But I can travel through the food that I'm preparing. And so today, we made a roasted loin of pork that we've butterflied and filled with dried fruit and spices and rolled it back onto itself almost like a pinwheel. It's a really elegant presentation that is perfect for the holidays. We've also made a really wonderful Australian, or sorry, not Australian, Austrian potato and kale salad with brown butter that's, uh, that's a lovely side dish and an alternative to a mayonnaise-based potato salad. We've done uh, a braised red cabbage that we've cooked in mulled wine with spices and citrus juice. We've made a really nice, elegant, uh, and yet very, very healthy shaved cucumber and carrot salad with chopped dill and yogurt. That's going to be a nice contrast to the pork loin. And then, obviously, every celebration needs a dessert. It's apple season, so we have a spice roasted apple and gingerbread trifle with vanilla custard to go along with it. Well, that sounds absolutely delicious, and I agree with you. Uh, I love to travel in my mind, too. You put the music on, you prepare the food, and you just drift away to wherever you want to be for that, that meal. Exactly. So that's, I love doing that. I love doing that. You, um, it, it, it really is fun and inspiring so you could cook a meal from any, any place that you want to visit. Right. Now, and, can you, and that's what's special about right now with with people being at home and being willing to try something new is that opportunity. Because the reality is that although you can't get on that plane and travel anywhere, we can travel through food. And especially when we're utilizing pork, given that pork is the number one protein consumed around the world, um, there's a lot of locales that we can look to. So pick a destination on the map. Maybe it's Vietnam, maybe it's Italy, maybe it's Cuba. The, we still have an opportunity to cook with a, a familiar ingredient, pork, but yet to create something brand new, something inspiring, and, and make some new memories. It is one of my favorite, favorite meals, and it's uh, uh, um, the other white meat, you know, because it's, it's very lean. There are parts of the pork that is very, so lean and good for you. So it, it is a, a wonderful. I love pork. Now, how can you help us? because most of us are used to having a, a large gathering. Right. How do you cook all the things that you mentioned and scale it back? How do people shop on a smaller scale? Well, it can be challenging for sure. One of the things that is easiest to do is to consider the main protein that you were gonna use. Let's just say hypothetically, you were gonna do a large crown roast of pork that is now a little bit too big. Well, we could still do that same preparation, but we could swap to maybe a boneless loin of pork, something that only weighs a pound or two and is a little bit more appropriate for size. The other option is to consider 
the leftovers as an opportunity un amongst them unto themselves. So, you know, take this roasted loin of pork that we have in front of us today. Uh, this is going to provide a really great opportunity for a new dish tomorrow. It's beautiful in its presentation right now, but shaved thin um, on a toasted buttered bun, maybe even topped with some of this braised red cabbage. We'd have a really fun spin on like a Reuben sandwich tomorrow. And that kind of creativity is what's going to get us through the monotony of this year and really make this holiday season special. Oh, I, I agree. I agree. And I, I do love leftovers. I mean, there's so many things you could do in it. it you get a, a day off yeah. as well by having <laughs> exactly. the leftovers. And, and Kara, what, what, what do you suggest for making the moments a little bit more celebratory? Because we all are going through so much this season. How do you suggest to cheer us all up? Yeah, I suggest getting the whole family together in the kitchen. Some of my fondest memories growing up is when we were gathered in the kitchen, you know, preparing food together. So I think this is a great opportunity during the holidays to gather the family, um, give people different tasks, different activities that they can do, because you'll definitely create lifelong memories and it'll be a year for, to remember for sure, but also you're helping teach your kids important life skills. Teaching them how to cook from scratch is something that they will take with them into adulthood. And I also think it's a really good time to start talking about nutrition with your kids as well. As we were talking about the menu today, we were talking about pairing fruits and vegetables along with the protein that's packed in pork. So that way you're getting the fiber, all the antioxidants, all the nutrients you need for optimal health, and you're pairing these foods together. So as you're cooking, you can be sure to talk to your kids about this, because if you talk to, talk to them and teach them at a young age, they're more likely to carry those um, healthy habits with them into adulthood. So seize the moment for sure. Oh, I couldn't agree more with both of you. But between traveling with the food right in your own dining room and to bringing your family in and teaching your kids. Uh, and, and they're so happy when, when they do create something and it tastes good. It's, it's such a, a, great, a great time and it does make memories from, you know, the smells of the holiday to the baking and the cooking and the roasting. There's nothing better. And the music, too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And the movies. <laughs> Uh huh. You have to you do it all, and, and and it's just so much fun. It's so much fun. Uh, well, I guess it's like um, the song. There's no place like home. Yeah, exactly. For the holidays, right? Right. Okay. Now, where can all everyone go to find out more and to uh, learn more about what you're speaking? Yeah, you can you can visit pork.org backslash real pork and you'll find so many amazing recipes that will surely tantalize your taste buds and provide a little recipe inspiration for your holidays as well as your regular routine. Exactly. And every recipe, the person who's reading it can always make it their own, put their own little twist on it, but at least get the ideas and the inspiration. Right, exactly. That's the beautiful thing about food is that once the recipe is in your hands, the dish is yours and it's your opportunity to create something brand new. Well, I can't tell you. It was really nice speaking with both of you. I really enjoyed it. Thank you I so much. I really, really did. You and too. I'm sure everyone will get something out of it. And, and I do love pork. I know it's my son and daughter's favorite. They love <laughs> it. And um, thank you. Thank you so much for taking the time to speak with me. It's our really pleasure. Thank you. And uh, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year to both of you. The same. Thank you. Thank you. Have a great day.